Hi friends and fellow Earth Angels, it's Gladys and welcome back to my weekly Sunday card reading and this spread will cover July 28th to August 3rd or whenever you're guided to watch as the intention for these readings is after it's out there that they're timeless and um, if you're ever guided to come back to my channel for some guidance, feel free to scroll through the videos and just pick a reading that calls out to you. You'd be surprised at how often the messages can resonate with you whenever you're at a place in your life that you need some guidance. So I have an interesting reading plan today. I never really know how I'm going to structure it until I start opening space for the reading. And so seeing that this is, um, we're at the end of Mercury retrograde. So Mer Mercury will start to go direct in the middle of the week. I believe the 31st is like maybe when it's stationary and it starts to go um, direct again. So I want to kind of do an energy check-in. So these last three weeks for a lot of people are um, when, when, when the retrograde happens, I think there's, you know, four other planets in retrograde. Plus in this period, we had a lunar and solar eclipse. And of course, we went into like this full moon purge. It's been this Capricorn, Cancer energy, polar opposites. And it's just been a lot of... Um, like aha moments, a lot of awarenesses for people. My, my guidance these last few weeks has been being mindful, paying attention to your needs, uh, being open, observing, uh, leaning back out of like being sucked into things. And so as we go into this week, I almost feel like I want to bring some final clarity to all areas of your life. And so my intention is with this that the whole reading may not resonate with you, but there may be parts that are really, this is the space that you're in and there are some parts that are just really going to um, connect with you as truth and, and really resonate with you. So um, this may be a longer reading than usual. You can feel free to skip ahead to areas that you feel like you need more guidance on, but... In the beginning, I am going to start with an Archangel for the week, um, with the Archangel Oracle deck. And then for everybody, I'm going to tap into the Soul's Journey lesson cards. So what the Archangel that I pull, the intention will be with this deck is to um, check in with soul guidance and what your soul is learning in this moment at this time. Um, and then I'm going to check in with your abundance. We're going to do an abundance card. We're going to do a health card. We're going to do a career card. And then we're going to do a love card. And then for the entire collective. So again, you might be good in love and maybe need some health guidance. You may be good in money and, and may need some some career guidance so that's what I mean the whole thing may not resonate with you but it, it may because I feel like this has been like a shake up this 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 last couple weeks has just kind of been like a breakup or a sh like a shake up of things uh bringing things to surface so we're really concentrating and focusing our energy and the things that um, the repetitive patterns that keep happening over and over again. And then I'm going to finish with an activation, like what the divine the activating within you this week. All right, so let's begin. All my books here. Starting with the Archangel Oracle. All right, so let me open space by inviting in all your guardian angels and guides the archangels, the ascended masters, God source, creator of the universe, and all his holy beings of light who would like to assist with this guidance for you this week. And I'm going to ask that the messages that come through be for your best and highest good. The best and highest good of all concerned. All right, friends. Let's see. All right, angels. Okay. What is the most important archangel? I would like to work with us this week. Oh, I think I'm going to pull this one. It's sticking right out. They're like, let's get into it. The lettuce. All right. Oh, I love it. What a beautiful way to start. Archangel Ariel. 
And so she's back again. It's it's crazy. When I started this channel a year ago, so it'll be a year in August that I started this channel. So I'm coming up on my year anniversary. I'm just realizing. And I'm I'm almost positive that when I was starting the channel, I was pulling Archangel Ariel like over and over and over again. And so here she is. So last Sunday, I pulled Archangel Ariel and I pulled her courage card and now here we have her spread your wings card and so the message says do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you're ready to soar so for me a lot of times the rep the retrogrades represent a pullback a hold back because energetically we can go 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 you know we live in a fast society of like impulsive and you know we can uh, like like keep moving and keep going and so when when especially mercury ret retrograde pops up it's kind of like a pullback i always see the image of like a slingshot and it's like pulling back and the idea of the pullback is so that you can focus your aim so things come up challenges difficulties uh, awarenesses within you um situations arise that you're like here it is again and it is always an opportunity in this pullback to readjust and make sure that you're focused on your target that when that energy releases that you're going in the direction of your dream so we're in the midst of like the tension has been pulled back on this slingshot during this retrograde period especially with everything else that's going on with the astrology uh, and with the with the planets we're in this when they're in this pullback and so the energy is just about getting ready to release so I pray that at this point you're more clear about the direction of your dreams and where you want to focus your energy and I believe that's where Ariel comes in and she's saying spread your wings where the, the tension has been pulled back we've been in this hold back we have a lot more clarity and now it's like when that energy gets ready to release she wants you to spread your wings and go forward and she's going to support you um I think I mentioned in my last video if I didn't I apologize but um, Ariel her signs when she comes in of course her namesake Ariel um, the little mermaid um, so if you're starting to see mermaids around that's a sign that Ariel's with you but also bunnies um, every time Ariel is present um, has been present in my life I felt her through bunnies and when it wasn't yesterday it was the day before oh you know no it was I'm sorry it was Thursday I saw four bunnies I had been out on my walk and I saw two bunnies I was driving uh, to a group event and I saw a bunny and then when I got to the house at the group the group event when I got to their house I saw a bunny like right in the neighbor's yard and I just kind of laughed I'm like okay Ariel I I I hear you, I see you, thank you. And that's kind of the gift of the feminine energy that 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 being able to see the unseen. And with the signs that they come that come up, it really is validation that the universe is working with you. And so I've 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 heard from many people that have told me that the signs are getting louder. They're not sure where they're going. Things seem to be shaken up, but they're seeing the numbers, they're seeing the birds, they're seeing the animals, they're seeing all different kinds of signs from their loved ones. And it's just a powerful place. And I feel like those signs are just guidance that you're moving in the right direction. And it's also a sign to let you know that the divine hears you and they're working with you and that you're not alone. So it doesn't always necessarily mean that you're missing something or they're trying to tell you something. It really is when these signs are coming up, it's kind of like a pathway, like keep going. You're in alignment. You're allowing because you're seeing the signs and it's a really good place to be in. So let me and, and ironically the beautiful thing is i pulled the soul journey cards and ariel is also the angel that assists with soul mission and so a lot of times we can kind of get caught up with like i'm bored in my life or nothing's happening i feel like i'm destined for so much more i don't know what to do and so invite ariel in if you're in that space and she can assist in open doors so when i started my my spiritual journey and my path um 
I was a paralegal sitting in a law firm in Providence doing real estate. I think at the time it was we were doing almost like a hundred closings a month. Um, it was just insane, and it was it was a great job, but it was so far from who I was and where I needed to be. <coughs> Excuse me, it was not a good job for me. <laughs> Definitely not. And so I started working with Archangel Ariel and I was guided to start taking these trainings, these energy therapy trainings and a mediumship training and angel classes. And and one of the one of the first classes that I took was a class on the archangels, like who they are, their colors, their signs. And it was a really great class. So I started calling on Archangel Ariel and asking her for assistance. And it was interesting, every time I needed the money for a class, I would call on her and the money would appear. Um, obviously not magically, but it would come into my life, whether whether my mom offered to support me or whether I got some extra work or I think at some points um, I got money from like an inheritance from like years before and it was just so wild how the money just kept coming into my life and every time I did I knew it was exactly for those trainings and those classes so I was able to build a really great foundation by following the guidance of Archangel Ariel and trusting that space so if you're um, on this soul evolvement and soul shift as, as many of us are call on Ariel and ask her for assistance uh, you may see the bunnies uh, again you may see the mermaid energy Sometimes another sign that I've connected with her is when I see redheaded children, um, it's another sign. I don't know why, maybe because the Little Mermaid's hair is red, but when I see little girls, um, you know, or little boys with red hair, it's another sign that I know Ariel is around. So let me know in the comments um, if, you know, you're watching this reading and, and or afterwards and, and you're seeing the bunnies or you're seeing the mermaids or... Give me some bunnies or mermaids in the comments. <laughs> so ironically, I pulled the Soul Journey cards and it's perfect to go along with her. So I'm going to ask Arielle, what does she want you to know about your soul's journey? As we come to the end of the retrograde and all this stuff has come up and out, I want to ask her to give you some guidance. What does she need you to know about your soul's journey? So we have two cards. And <laughs> so the first card, we have balance. I love it. We've been talking about this too with the yin yang, the balance of the masculine and feminine, the nurturing, the providing for your needs, the loving, the self-care, and then also to the action, prioritizing, stabilizing, working on your foundation. And so the message here says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So I'm feeling with this card, She's saying, <clears throat> if you're feeling out of balance, if you're over giving um, and not giving yourself an opportunity to receive, you're gonna feel that, pay attention to that. If you're receiving and not really in that space of giving, um, sometimes when we, sometimes when we feel resentful or we've been giving too much, we can go to that place of like, that's it, I, I call it like, um, like passive aggressive a little bit like that's it I've been giving to everybody and nobody appreciates me I'm not giving at all and then you just kind of like don't do anything <laughs> and so that's out of balance that's showing you that um, you've got to find balance between what you're offering what you're giving and making sure your needs are being met being able to communicate that being able to take time for yourself but not in a way where it's like rebellious or you're angry about it and you're like fine if nobody's gonna help me I'm not doing it at all so there needs to be some balance with that energy so 
uh, towards the end of this retrograde, maybe this week you can check in and see how your life is balanced. Personally, for me, I need to do that with my tasks, things that I need to get done. I have projects and, and things that I'm working on. I've got my podcast and my YouTube channel that needs attention, um, amongst other things, other projects that I'm working on. So I've really, this retrograde, worked with a really good friend of mine to create balance for myself and structure and organization and planning. And that's kind of my masculine energy that I'm not really, I haven't been comfortable being in. Uh, and so I've had to really work at that, this cycle. And so as I'm as I'm towards the end of this retrograde, I feel like I have done the work. I feel like I focused on foundation. I feel like I focused on providing and stability and organization and planning. And, and I didn't have to do it alone. The universe uh, created space for me to work with another person who that's her forte. That's what she does. So I'm not saying that you have to do all these things on your own. Sometimes the universe is like, let us in to support you. There's a difference between like waiting for things to happen and surrendering into the universe, allowing things to move forward and work out and allowing things to happen. So it's not about like sitting and waiting for things. When you're in that space of waiting, you're almost going to feel like you're always in a state of waiting. So if you can get to that place of acceptance and and being, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly where I want to be, but this is, I accept this is where I'm at and from here I can move forward. What action steps can I take in a gentle way? And sometimes I'm getting a message for some of you. Some of you, you need rest. Some of you, you need sleep. If you are a hardcore type A person, personality, goal-oriented, action, doing. That's like a lot of masculine energy. And so you also need to slip into the nurturing and the sleep and the the rest and, and even just getting out in nature and just being by the ocean or being being in the woods. And, you know, one of my favorite things is when I go for a walk, uh, it's, there's like a wooded area where I am and I love the smell of nature. I love the smell of trees and the earth and I just take time to just soak it all in. So when I go for my walks, I'm not listening to music. I'm present. I'm in my body and how I'm feeling the sunshine on my skin, the air on my skin, the birds. I'm listening to to, to nature. I'm li- li- listening to kids playing. Uh, I have a pool in my neighborhood. So there's a lot of activity and I'm just aware and present and I always feel nurtured. I always feel refreshed. That's where I saw the bunnies. I'll see cardinals. And so the universe is saying, like, if you've been in this goal-oriented action pause and just be, be in a state of nurturing and loving yourself and even putting your hands in your heart and taking a few deep breaths are powerful, especially earth angels. Earth earth angels are notorious for overgiving, oversharing. It's not a bad thing. It's who we are. It's what we've come here for. But when it comes from like a martyr place, when it comes from like, like, you're you're compromising your own needs or ignoring your own needs it comes it becomes really out of balance and so the next card that popped out was perseverance it says i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to so here we go spread your wings coming into balance and then we have this energy of perseverance so <clears throat> this is this is this is setting out to create balance in your life and persevering through it. Meaning, anytime there's an opportunity for change within yourself, it is going to change your world and your environment, the people that are around you. And if people are used to you being a certain way and you start to change, like for example, let's say you wanna eat healthier. And the people around you are used to not eating healthy. Or for example, let's say you want to give up soda uh, or you want to give up sweets. But the people around you love soda and sweets. You can't force them to make the changes that you want to change. There has to be this like, willpower and so there's this there's this tension right because it's like you want to better yourself but the people around you are not in that space yet so the idea is you need to persevere and pursue your own goals and your own needs and see 
you know, if it's in the house and it's hard for you, see it as an opportunity to be able to shift it and have that willpower and that strength. And it goes along with, you know, if even if starting a business can be scary. I know there is a lot of um, earth angels out there who want to start holistic practices and they want to do energy work and, you know, they want to expand on their intuition and stuff. And that can be a, a scary thing. Trust me, I know. I went from being in a law firm, making a great, you know, paycheck and, and, and great money for myself to leaving that and, and starting a business 12 years ago that really didn't exist so much and trying to maintain longevity and create, create wealth for myself. So I get it. I really needed to persevere. And I'm not going to lie. There were many times that I wanted to give up and I wanted to quit. And my boss, <laughs> the big guy himself, God was like, oh no, this is part of the process. I would get that all the time. So as you spread your wings and you're working on balance, you need balance to work on projects. And then if you have a family, there needs to be time with family. There needs to be time with working on these projects. There also needs to be time for connection, friendships, partnership, romance, all that stuff as well. Like that, especially in this nine year cycle, is what we're being called to. We're seeing, I can't wait to get to the love part because I'm, I mean, magnetic energy between partnerships is intense. It's it's wild right now. I thought <laughs> I was hearing some, some noise outside, sorry. Um, <clears throat> And there's this intensity with it right now. It's like, it's coming up within us. So relationships, if you're in a relationship, those have been really uh, shifting. Uh, if you're not in a relationship and you're calling in and manifesting that that love vibration in your life and romance and partnership, we, you know, the, the single people have been really called to do their own inner work so that when you come into partnership, there's clear communication, your needs are being met, you're able to uh, shift in that vibration we've up-leveled when it comes to love. So there's this idea of perseverance and moving through and continuing to show up for those things that are important to you. All right, so let me start with abundance. Let me start with money. We're going to go into the areas now. So um, <clears throat> let's push these off a little bit. And I'm going to ask what the divine wants you to know about money. As we're at the end of the retrograde and when that energy is about to be released, the intention is what do they want you to know about money? If my intention is if maybe there's a little extra work that an area you need to focus on money or maybe there's this is like where you're going with money. So we'll just leave it up to the universe to, to <laughs> well, two. There's two here. So let's go with that. <clears throat> oh my gosh. So <laughs> no more complaining. Wow. Um where do you see that the next one? I just read the next one. Uh, so the, the the universe is so awesome. I I mean, I hope, I don't know, I hope these fill you up like they fill me up. So I just love doing them. So it says, no more complaining, no more complaining. And the message is, complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations bloom into reality. So change your story. That's what I'm hearing. The, you know, And I was in that place for a very long time, but, but the re reality is bills need to be paid and... Um, I need to do this in order to do this and I don't have enough energy and so this may have come up money stuff may have come up like loud and clear in this retrograde and it gave you an opportunity sh to shift your energy into it what are you pursuing like how are you spreading your wings and so the universe is saying if you're frustrated if you're stressed frustrated with your money situation 
thing it, I for me I think it's a good thing if you're frustrated it means you're out of balance something within you is out of alignment and it's through the frustration and the challenges and the difficulties that it's going to arise in your face and you can make adjustments minor adjustments make 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 minor adjustments make a huge difference in the long run so I'm not saying like you've just got to take these big giant jumps but it's like these minor adjustments and so just a minor of just adjustment of not complaining about your financial situation not complaining this is this one's doing this or this one's doing that that or it's because of this or it's because of that if you can pull out of that energy go into meditation go within take a walk take a time out and surrender those frustrations and surrender your money situations to God, creator, source, whatever that is to you. Not wait for money to come in, but surrender the situation for God and then open your heart and ask God to invite in the abundance for you. The minor adjustment of recognizing when you're complaining about money or your situation, recognize it. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it in your stomach. You're going to feel it in your chest. You're going to feel it in your middle back. That's like your emotional guidance system. When you're in tune with yourself, when you're taking care of yourself, when you're in balance, you're going to be very aware when this energy comes up. And in that moment, you can take a deep breath and refuse to spiral with the mind. Take a breath and remind yourself, oh yeah, that's right. God is the master of his universe and he's all abundant. God and Mother Earth is where all money comes from, right? God is the actual energy of bringing money into our lives and Mother Nature is the actual energy physical part of the money manifest all wealth comes from mother nature right so when you get out surrender into god get out in nature connect with nature that is an incredible way to shift your vibration and open up your flow to allowing this energy to come in so if you think about money and gems and jewels and diamonds and all this stuff comes from the earth and if you're in your mind that means you're not connected with your body and your spirit which is which is where your intuitive guidance will come from so the next card that came out was as an extension of this is have courage to ask for and accept help so again com- in complete alignment god is saying ask him for help and guidance it's almost like look they're it's like they're gifting each other energy back and forth so you know my my idea with money is i love money i love it in a non-greedy way but i love it as a form of opportunity and experience and adventure so money to me has become a friend i take care of my money i put my money in a good place um i talk to the energy of money as if it's a friend like thank you for showing up in my life I just got back from Austin Texas and my business was able to provide for that as I'm able to give to the world and share my gifts um, and share the gifts of, of spirit and guidance and 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 really be in that passionate flow I'm then able to go and have adventures and opportunities and meet more people through that so when I was out in Austin, on a regular basis, I talked to my business and I was like, thank you so much for providing for me. I talked to money. Money, thank you so much for showing up in my life. I really appreciate you. So this is a time to really finally purge any old belief systems of money's the root of all evil. It's never enough. It causes problems, all that stuff. That's victimhood. That's complaining, right? So have the courage to ask for help. And I really feel like this is the divine. I mean, of course, course you know we we can ask help from people you know in in our in our life in our circle but if they got money issues too it's not going to help the situation so 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 the message here says asking for help is a sign of strength um as it as is accepting it as it is offered to you. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I was kind of, I'm a little ADD. So when words come up like that, it takes me a minute. So asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it. 
as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept their assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. So it kind of goes hand in hand here. Uh, and my intention was like to give you something that's a kind of a challenge and then also give you something that uh, kind of is an action where you're going with it. So here they're saying like stop complaining, stop with these old beliefs or, or recognize it. Recognize the the tug of war within your body with it. And, 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 and if you can take a time out and pause and surrender into it instead of stuffing it, instead of ignoring it, sit with it. We, we live in a society that people just want to go and they want to run away and they want to escape and I can tell you this retrograde has been like really pulled back and we really haven't had a choice and you know um we're all feeling it and so ask for help so I I I encourage you if money has been a thing for you I encourage you to try this after this video at some point go find a quiet space somewhere and no music uh, sit down and just put your hands over your hearts and take a few heart and take a few deep breaths and then invite God in invite God in and I want you to sit with the energy of money maybe it's a hundred dollar bill maybe it's 20s maybe it's a vibration and I really want you to send that energy love and, and again through creator and then allow yourself to really receive back and what you can start do doing is bring to mind memories of when money was fun for you when it supported you so maybe you went on a vacation that you remember and it was so much fun and money was there for you uh, maybe you paid off a debt at a certain point and it felt really good start bringing to mind when money was there for you when it was supporting you there are little ways maybe somebody offered you money and gave you money and then ask and then in those moments when you feel that energy allow it to be a pathway and saying God bring me more of that in my life or something even better you know when money comes into my life I always affirm thank you God bring me more of this or something even better and if and if there are those of you out there who have businesses thank your business my business heavenly hugs is a beautiful energy that provides and supports me and allows me the gift of joy and happiness and peace and and to be of service to people and humanity this is the way I can be of service this is this is my thing it's my passion but all these other things need to come into alignment for me to allow that energy in so it's just minor adjustments minor adjustments in your thinking awarenesses of how you're resisting flow I can do it myself I have to make it happen Um, and God is saying open up to to receiving guidance just let me in remember the universe abides by the law of free will so they will not they do not intervene unless we're asking and this is why the power of prayer and meditation and opening yourself up and bringing your awareness to creator and the divine is so incredibly powerful all right so now let's shift into health let's shift into health here what does the divine want you to know about health oh the intention of let me just i'm just kind of shifting my energy into the vibration of the collective with your physical body this could be mental health it could be um spiritual help it could be physical help all of the above so what does the collective need to hear see feel and know about health these cards are the Archangel Raphael and he's the healer so you can always call on him if you're actually having physical health issues imagining his emerald green light filling your body to overflowing if you're taking medications imagine his emerald green light surrounded and filled in the medication so that goes in and nurtures your body those are all good action steps uh, for health all right let's see what do you have here for us There we go. (laughs) Yes, that's it. Yes. And the message says, Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me trust my feelings as the accurate barometer of truth. Interesting. So let me take one moment. I feel like I'm getting multiple messages, so I just kind of want to support it, sort it.
So for some of you, I feel like the message that Raphael is saying is if you've been meditating on your health, I feel like Raphael is saying trust your feelings. So, okay. So for some of you out there with health issues or stuff that's physic, this is, for me, I feel like it's a message for physical and also mental, mental health. If you've been getting guidance, And it doesn't feel right. So maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody's coming up with a protocol for you. Or maybe somebody's telling you you need to this and you need to that. Again, this is with mental health and physical health. So if you're seeing a counselor or a therapist and you're feeling like what you're getting or what, what, I'm sorry, what you're receiving doesn't feel like your truth, I feel like Raphael is saying trust your instincts Trust your own inner guidance. Meditate with the issue. So for example, I have been challenged with lower back issues and I've been unpacking this pain for a couple years now and I feel like I'm just, just getting there and and, and what and what it means. And so, you know, I could go to a doctor and get surgery and do all this stuff, but there's something in my gut, and I'm not saying never, there's something in my gut that always says explore deeper. It's deeper. Go into the emotional state. Go into the mental space. Go into the spiritual space. And so I've been having this ongoing journey with my lower back, and I'm so hyper vigilant that I know immediately when I have an experience what triggers it. And then I root it back to, anxiety, feeling out of control, being tense, not relaxing, not meditating. But I don't take it as like, I'm, I'm not doing these things and I bully myself. It's, it's an awareness. And I feel like Raphael is saying, if your gut is telling you something about your health, explore other options. Or if you're feeling something is not right, something doesn't feel right within you, go seek help go seek support, go get the blood work, go get the, I don't know, the scans or go get the the guidance. But you also too, when, you want, when you're doing that, you want to check in with your own gut instincts and see if this feels right. It's so easy to kind of give us our power and just take things and do things, even with supplements, even with certain types of exercise. So I have always, no, I can't just say always, but for a very long time, I've loved to run, 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 run. I've loved it, but I can't do that anymore right now, especially with my lower back. So walking has been what has worked for me as much as there's this part of me that wants to run. I know I need to listen to my body and walk. So I would run a few times a week. Now I can walk every day and it's not speed walking. I'm not walking to burn calories and lose weight. I'm walking to feel strong within my body, to move my body, to get my heart strong. And so as much as my mind wants to like run in those moments, my heart and my body is just like, girl, relax, walk every day, walk. And I'm I'm seeing results. I'm seeing the benefits of it. So I know that that's what I need. And I know as much as I, you know, part of me wants to, to run, there's this other part that says, be gentle. This is what you need. So even meditating on your health, I feel like that's what this card is saying. Like, yes, the inner guidance that you're getting is, is truth. Listen to that. And for some of you, it's maybe need to be pulled back maybe need to meditation and go within. For others, it may be going to the doctors, getting the scan. Um, It's for mental health. Sometimes it's taking the medication to take the edge off so that you can have some clarity and go even deeper. There's, it's, you know, this whole, you know, medical supplement health um, physical fitness is all like this big giant beast of an energy and there is a 
billion things out there in in this world. So for me, peanuts are not good. I'm not I'm not allergic to peanuts in a way like I, I have a peanut allergy, but my body because it, it can breed mold, my body doesn't do well with it. So some people may say peanuts are really good for you. Eat peanut butter. That's really great protein. But for me, it doesn't work well with my body and there are certain foods that may be good for other people but trigger allergies within my body. And this is me being hyper aware to my health and saying, okay, through the process of elimination and reintroduction, these foods are good for me and these foods are not. I had some licorice last night and immediately I started getting cramps. Immediately. I looked at the ingredients and I knew I shouldn't have eaten it. (laughs) And I had it anyway. It was delicious. And so, but I knew instantly as soon as I started to get the cramps and the bloated feeling, I'm like, yep, there it is. And again, it was like, yes, your own intuitive your own intuitive guidance about your health um, is always on point and so that's what Raphael is saying with the health so I hope that I hope that makes sense yes please help me trust my feelings as the accurate barometer of truth if you're out like let's say you have a, a, a physical issue and you're out and getting guidance from a doctor or, or um, you know, a naturopath or nurse practitioner or nurse or whoever's out in the field and it doesn't feel right, there's nothing wrong with getting a second pen, opinion and you might find out that that first one was right. And so there's nothing wrong with exploring your options. This is about you standing in your power. This is about you checking in with what feels right and then having a support system um, to guide you through. Being vocal about your beliefs and your standards and your expectations but you're not able to communicate that unless you know that within yourself so okay so and then again I see the infant here and I feel like Raphael is saying like this may be new for you this might be something that you've never done before never experienced so take your time with it uh, and check in with your own intuition and your own feelings okay so let's go into career Those of you who are evolving in your career, maybe you're not happy in your career, maybe you'd like to change your story in your career, maybe you are waiting for a promotion, maybe you're waiting for a raise, maybe you want to start a business. Um, I'm just getting a drink of coffee here. Um, Let me tap into the the career, the the collective's guidance for their career work, money, career. Okay, let's see. What's the most important thing? Here we go. Interesting. So, I love it. So with career, well, I'm just going to show you both of them. We have sensitivity and we have nutrition. So, um, for me, I'm almost feeling this is for the intuitives. Those are the people, this is, this guidance is for people who, um, Um, who are expanding, you know, those of you out there who want to start your business, those of you out there who want to tap into your intuition, um, expand your reach. So the sensitivity card here says you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So it goes along with nutrition. Uh, You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. So Let me just unpackage this here. So with sensitivity, sensitivity is a superpower. And for earth angels, highly sensitive people, empaths, um, caregivers, healers, light workers, that's where I call us just earth angels. Uh, sensitivity is our superpower and for many of you you've grown up with people around you that might be saying oh you're too sensitive you're too sensitive you're too emotional and you know and, and it really is a reflection of their own blocks in their connection with their own needs so if you think about a child children are, are very sensitive they're very in tune they're very aware they're not afraid to express their emotions I mean how many times have you heard a kid screaming on a plane or 
in a shopping center, honestly, I just kind of smile at it. I'm like, let it out. They're, they're trying to express themselves. But we live in a society where we need to hold back and stuff it. And I think this is the, the tragic state of the Earth Angel Collective right now is not tapping into sensitivity and, and going externally for support and guidance and tell me what to do because you're ignoring the gifts that you have within. There's no coincidence here. She's got this energy floating around her head. This is like her third eye chakra. It goes from it goes from her third eye back to her occipital lobe. And here is the connection. You can actually use Archangel Raphael to make sure that uh, you can ask him for assistance to make sure that your third eye is connected uh, with the occipital lobe in the back. Um, occipital lobe. Say, <laughs> I see the word in my head um, to make sure that you're getting intuitive guidance for your body and it goes right down the spine into her heart here she's got this crystal energy so uh, maybe some of you need to pull out some crystals and tap into the sensitivity of your own vibration as I say that it's 4444 nutrition I can tell you will also affect your ability to be intuitive so with regards to career uh, one of the messages that I'm getting is that your guides want you to listen to your own intuitive guidance uh, you're a sensitive person and your nutrition can also affect you so if you're eating a lot of processed foods if you're um, not moving your body, you're feeling stagnant and stale. If you are eating high amounts of dairy and hormone, hormone meats with like hormones and anti antibiotics and uh, sugars and stuff. I mean, it's all good in moderation, but if your your diet right now is an overabundance of it, you are going to feel foggy. You are going to feel disconnected. You're going to feel like you can't. You can't, like, you're going to feel like, oh, I can't, I can't, it's too much, it's too hard. And again, you're definitely not going to want to persevere. So I feel like this is saying right now, if you're feeling foggy, if you're feeling unclear, get back to the basics. Meditation, prayer, connection with God, using your sensitivity um, to sense the world around you, uh, to be able to see and feel what feels good, what doesn't feel good. And again, also too, I can't say enough about nutrition. Now, um, I don't eat perfectly, um, <clears throat> but over the last couple years, I've made major adjustments in my diet. Um, so it doesn't mean I don't have all those yummy good things, but um, for the most part, I'm mindful of eating fruits and vegetables and um, grains, certain kinds of grains and uh, certain kinds of fish. Um, and that's been and that's been my diet. And I've gotten a lot of resistance from like just people around me and the adjustments and and, and it's it's not it's not bad. It just really gives me an opportunity to pers persevere and kind of just remind myself that this is important for me. But I can tell you in the last couple of years with these minor adjustments in my diet, my intuitive guidance and my ability to read and connect and my sensitivity has heightened 10 thousand fold and I am in a highly creative space I am motivated I'm feeling driven I'm feeling passionate I'm feeling excited I can tell you when I start to slip on my diet um, and I use diet loosely it's not rigid it's not punishment it's you know it's quality of life for me it's 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 really allowing me my a healthy diet allows me to have confidence it allows me to feel good within my body I don't have I've let way less aches and pains um, my back's not so much of an issue which is another thing I'm exploring so the universe is saying we want to help you with your career we want to help you with money and your health and it really starts with opening up to the sensitivity that's within you your superpower when you walk into a room and it doesn't feel good move out of the space if you are making a connection with somebody and your sensitivity is telling you something doesn't feel right but your mind says oh you know don't judge and oh give them the benefit of the doubt and then you get burned and your intuition was like we supported you and you didn't listen those are the things that you need to learn I mean we've all been there and like I said in nutrition nutrition is um, powerful uh, with supporting you in your sensitivity and in your own career because a lot of people really who are watching this channel are earth angels and really in some type of service 
oriented field or, or being able to offer support in some way uh, through your own, uh, your own gifts. Um, and, and really we're learning right now how to access our intuition to create wealth and money and stability and security and love and passion and connection through our intuitive gifts. So the question for you to ask yourself is, or, or when you go into meditation, what is my gift? How am I creating love and beauty in the world through my intuitive gifts? And I think I've talked about this on other, on other videos, like Oprah, she creates love and beauty in the world using her intuitive gifts. She, she goes into prayer, she's very, honest and open about she goes into prayer she connects with God and she's able to chan channel books um, she's able to bring people together in the spiritual community so she uses her gifts of communication to bring love and beauty in the world uh, Jennifer Lopez uh, she's another example of creating wealth stability support through her divine gifts through her feminine essence of, of intuition and so she is able to create love and beauty in the world through her gift of music, through her gift of voice and song. Um, Joanna Gaines from HGTV, uh, what's her show? Um, oh God, why can't I think of her show? Um, it just wrapped. So anyway, they're 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 starting a brand new channel, um, a, a brand new network, and. Um, Oh, I know you guys are screaming at me what the name of it is. <laughs> I can't, I'm just blank. As I'm hearing the sirens go around, like that's Archangel Michael. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so, so Joanna Gaines, she uses her gifts of divine inspiration and creativity. So she creates love and beauty in the world through her divine gifts of creating home spaces for people. And so I feel like, I don't know if you can hear the sirens. I hope you can hear those because it was like beeping right in front of my window. That's Archangel Michael. Um, and, and so maybe part of this right now is bringing up some fears and some worries or maybe it's bringing up some doubts. And I feel like Archangel Michael is saying, I got your back. Call on me. Well, I got your back and I got your front too because he walks in front of you, kind of clears the way, uses his sword and shield to clear away any resistance, especially for light workers, earth angels of the planet. He's the guardian of light. So anybody who is on this soul mission of like bringing light and love into the world, again, creating love and beauty, he's here to assist, to guide you forward and protect you. So as I'm talking about these things and we're talking about career, Ask yourself, God, how can I create love and beauty in the world through my divine gifts, through my intuition? So this YouTube channel came from me sitting in meditation, feeling stuck and bored in my life, in my career. And, and I, I'm very fortunate to be able to have found my thing very early in life. Like I know this is, this is work that I'm destined to do. It's in my my it's in my astrology chart it's 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 in my body it's i feel it but it doesn't mean that um i'm not going to continue to grow and expand and so i'm sitting bored with where i'm at and i'm thinking what can i do to expand my reach how can i expand my business like what's the next thing and i just got this image of angel cards and i'm like and I had resistance to angel cards because I have to say, I had an old belief that using angel cards was cheating and using any type of cards was cheating. So I'm, I have the gift of being able to channel and read energy without these tools. And so I ignorantly <laughs> tossed them aside. And so when I'm thinking about angel cards, it was this resistance. And then, and then I went on YouTube and I saw that it's a thing and people are getting really great guidance. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. And I'm getting so much powerful messages and guidance through these cards. And it kind of comes from that place of let us help you, woman. Like, let us support you. And that's where this channel has come from. Um, it was the same situation with my podcast. I felt like I had so much inside of me to say. I was channeling all these messages for clients and people's lives were changing. It was incredible. And I'm thinking, how do I get this out to more people? And I had no interest in writing a book. So podcast, use your voice. So I'm able to use my gift of communication. I'm able to use my gift of sensitivity 
to create love and beauty in the world for people on their inside. I'm able to create love and beauty in the world and help people reconnect it to the essence of their soul self, to their own truth, to God, source, creator of the universe. That's my gift. So if you're in this space where you're feeling stuck, I know there are some of you out there too who are in the nutrition field. The universe is saying like there's a lot of old beliefs and and, and, and the, the people who are in the nutrition field that I know are really tapped into the divine. They are tapped into this new essence of nutrition, this new essence of like what's working for the body and how to use food as fuel and trusting your own intuition. And so the universe is saying more of that. We need more of that. So through your own health challenges, through your own money challenges, through your own career challenges, it's giving you an opportunity to move more towards what your thing is. So your own self-healing is actually what's going to contribute to your career and where you end up and where you're moving. So I feel like that was a lot. Let me pause for a moment. I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. like I'm on a roll okay so we did money we did soul lessons we did career we did health okay so let's do love 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 all right let's see let's move these over a little bit it's kind of messy this morning we have a lot packed in here okay love 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 I love love I'm such a romantic (laughs) I romance myself a lot (laughs) <laughs> so let's see 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 this energy of love see how it just oh when you're in that space it just lights you up you know so even that's a message like when you tap into the essence of love and romance and partnership and connection and it doesn't have to be with like you know like an intimate partner it can be with like friendships and um you can expand in that way uh let me see okay so let me <laughs> focus gladys focus Okay, so what does the universe, the divine creator, want you to know about your love life? Love life. This is love life. Romance, intimacy, connection. And and let's say it, it can be if you're single or in, you're in a partnership because there can be equal amount of challenges. So let's see. Love. I don't want you to know about love. Romance angels. Give us some guidance. one and pull one more there we go there we go all right so let's pull this one first put this one here Ooh, this could be the one so this almost feels like for the single men and women out there This could be the one. So the message says, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Uh Uh-oh. All right, this is loaded. Okay, so. So. On a soul level. So how do I unpack this? Okay, so on a soul level. The partners we're destined to be with, whether they stay for a lifetime or they stay for two weeks, two months, two years, so be it, whatever it is. These energies are destined to come into your life for a reason. Sometimes it's karmic, sometimes it's soul, what do they call soulmate, sometimes it's like twin flamish. I mean, there's a lot of different energies out there. Um, I try not to get into labels because it really kind of pigeonholes like an energy. So this card is not when it says this could be the one. This card, it feels like I I feel like I want to say if your connection right now is unhealthy, if it's abusive, if it's narcissistic, if, if, if you're not feeling lit up by a partnership, I feel like the universe is saying, please don't confuse this card. This could be the one as 
you latching on to that person. Remember, I think last week's message was you can't fix someone. You can't save them, change them, make them better. People, through their actions, through their words, show you who they are. And so please don't confuse this as if you're if you're in an unhappy place, if you're separated from somebody and there's this degree of abuse, maybe it's uh, cheating or maybe it's toxic and it is, maybe it's just not making you feel good. That means the other person still has a lot of inner work and soul growth before there can be a partnership. That may not happen in this lifetime. So this, this could be the one, could be, Maybe you've met a person and you're curious or, or you're not really sure, but they may have their own inner work to do, which triggers your own inner work. This is, we're in this nine year cycle. It started in 2017, it'll go through 2025. This cycle, as I've been channeling it, is a cycle, a nine year cycle of reintegrating the energy, excuse me, of true love back on the planet. We cannot do that if we're not healing our own wounds. So the only reason why I know I have the gift of longevity in this field, the only reason I've been doing this work for 12 years is I know that I, all throughout these 12 years, have had to do my own inner work. I've had to spiritually evolve and grow. And as I do, it expands my reach even more so. So you can't get into a healing field without healing yourself. And, you know, they'll even tell you in, 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 um, in college, in schools, that for people who are going to, for going to, to be therapists and counselors and psychologists, they will tell you, you need to have your own support. You need to be able to be processing this stuff with somebody. You need to have your own therapist, your own counselor, your own psychologist, your own. It's just part of the network. So I have my spiritual mentors. I have my therapists. I have my friendships. I have my support system. Um, and it's inner work that I have to do. And each one of my relationships that I've been in has triggered more of that. So I just wanted to say that off the bat, this could be the one. I don't want some of you going saying like, this is the one. Why aren't they changing? And it doesn't make me happy. The right person will light you up. You will feel amazing. They may not, they may not be in the place of being open or ready for a relationship. They may be doing their own inner work, but that person, that right person isn't going to make you feel like crap. That right person isn't going to abuse you and put you down and belittle you. I can tell you the right person is going to want to it's almost like water you and light you up so this could be the one you could have gotten those feelings you could have met the person already but they or you take ownership as well you may not be ready remember whatever what's on the outside is a reflection of what's happening on the inside so Allow, instead of waiting for this person to come back or waiting for this this partnership to come into your life, this almost feels for the single people. For, 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 or maybe you've broken up and you're like waiting in that space. Again, shift the energy into it. Give it to God. Um, and, and on a soul level, remember, you're destined to come in alignment with people. So when it says this could be the one you've already met your romantic partner, you may not have physically met them in this life, but you have known them from before you were born in, in in the soul level. So I almost feel like this card is saying that as well. So I don't want you to confuse it with something that's toxic and, oh, this is the person because it's, it's not a healthy thing. And, you know, some things could be like part of your journey. But remember, we all have the gift of free, free will. And if the person doesn't want to change or they don't want to go and expand, that doesn't mean you can't have love. That doesn't mean that you can't grow and expand and have partnerships that are out of this world, that intimacy is on a whole new level. That doesn't mean it has to be stuck with one specific person. So I really want to make that clear. 
when I put this card out. So know that you have met this person on a soul level. You have met them. You, you in some way, the universe is orchestrating, bringing you together. But sometimes, you know, when people come together, there's this connection and then it triggers stuff within them. It triggers their own wounds and their own shadow stuff and their own darkness that needs to come up and out. And again, we cannot be in codependent relationships anymore. We can't be in relationships where we're feeling, well, I'll fix you and I'll, I'll help you and I'll do this for you and I'll, um, I'll jump in and I'll use my intuitive gifts because that's not going to work because then you're ending up with a, a partnership where, where you're not taking care of yourself and you're intertwined with each other and that's not healthy. So many things here with this this could be the one you could have met the person they may not be ready you may not be ready you might still have some inner work to do we're in this retrograde so meditating on that meditating on okay what inner work do I still need to do get some clarity on how you want to feel what type of energy or relationship you want in your life so sometimes I go back into to, to manifest I go back into my old partnerships and remember what I loved the most about those partnerships now I do not romantic size about them and it's like I don't go to the place of like oh I wish or should have or that's not what I go into I go into the place of where I felt really good where I felt magnetic where I felt lit up and I'm saying God bring me more people like that in my life or something even better I want to feel like that again or something even better and I can tell you it might not manifest as like a physical person in my life but it comes through experiences and I remember yes this or something even better and then I surrender the process up to God I surrender and allow what is to creator and I live my life I go have fun with friends and I take care of myself and I manage my business and maintain my partnerships with friendships and my support system so this is the part where I'm saying like okay this person could be there You met them on a soul level. Allow the universe to orchestrate it in a healthy way. Trust. I can't even tell you how many times things have come into my life and I've said it's better than, um, I, it was everything I didn't know I needed. It was better than I imagined. And that came from the art of surrendering into, surrendering and releasing um, this, this space that I'm in to create. So the next card interesting so I feel like this is for people who are in marriages and are in union and are being challenged so this says healing family issues it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents awesome okay so I'm shifting space here so this is it could be if you're single and this is the inner work that you have to do but also too if you're in a partnership again it's a general reading so please take the messages as it feels truth within your gut and your heart um so if you're challenged in your partnerships right now your marriages maybe you've been with somebody for a long time um we are doing a major ancestral and ancestral clearing i think that's right ancestors you're clearing your ancestor stuff earth angels of the planet right now are shedding old beliefs old ways of doing things rigid thought belief systems toxic energy and again this is where this balance and perseverance comes in so there's a meme out there or or there's there's a a saying out there that I always remember it pops up every once in a while it says you don't have relationship issues you have you don't have relationship issues with your marriage or your partnership you have unresolved childhood issues (laughs) and that is so profound for me when you can again no more complaining call on the divine for assistance when you can see that when you are triggered by something it is a reflection of some imbalance that's happening inside some inner work to do it's not punishment it's the universe saying we want you to grow and expand but we need you to see this we need you to see this it needs to be a little uncomfortable so that you're aware of it and then you have an opportunity to shift and change it so right now with the dynamics of relationships you're clearing old beliefs, old ways of doing things. If your parents had toxic 
had, had a toxic marriage or toxic situations. Maybe there was addictions. Maybe there was extreme codependency. And in a way, I say it means that like a lot of times the feminine energy would put all her needs aside and cater to and take care of the masculine energy, the masculine children, the masculine um, provider energy, whether it was a husband. Um, there were these imbalances. And it created like the martyr energy, like I do everything and I've got to sacrifice and I have to fix and I won't be able to do this until this person's okay. That creates a lot of this deep codependent energy and, it, and it's very cultural. So I've, I grew up in a very Italian Catholic family. So there were a lot of old beliefs of the feminine serving the masculine. Now that may have served a point in time, um, but it's changed now. And so my energy is what I would prefer is partnership, union, connection. Like let's work together as a team and grow and expand. Um, I I, um, as a feminine energy am lit up by things where I feel cherished. The masculine energy gets lit up when they're respected. So there has to be this degree of partnership and understanding you if you're a female or you're a male watching this and your partner who's a female or a male. You have to understand your own needs and your own dynamic and I feel like this is what's coming up. So there's some of you out there who may be holding on to the idea of what you wanted your relationship to be or or the dream or um, or 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 even the fact grieving the loss of what was um, you can't possibly be in this energy right now and not change and not grow and expand I did a group I did a group gathering at um, at a lady's house on Thursday night and there were these things that I was talking about that was happening. So a lot of them were, were new. They, they'd never experienced mediumship or they never experienced the uh, intuitive work that, that I offer. And so it was very profound for them to receive messages in what was going on in their lives and then also too to realize that they weren't alone that there were other people going through it as well and so that's my intention for these readings is to really help you feel more connected because it's very easy to slip in that to that i'm alone and isolated um and so right now, people are healing family issues. There's a lot of mother-daughter stuff going on. There's a lot of masculine and life purpose stuff going on, like men really searching a pathway for, for what makes them feel driven and goal-oriented and passionate. And so there may be a degree of, I don't know if it's separation, I don't mean like separation, like physical separation, but in your house, you, you may be energetically not feeling your partner or um, maybe stuff and issues are coming up. So I just encourage you to pull back and ask yourself like, okay, is this something like I've learned from my family? Or is this something that's coming up? So so for me, the abandonment, if I'm going to get a little vulnerable here, abandonment could be a thing for me. And I was never aware of that. You know, I, I was raised by a single mom. As I look at the clock, it's 11, 11. Uh, I was raised by a single mom and um, I didn't realize abandonment was a thing for me. And, and so when I would have connections with with all sorts of people and then like I wouldn't hear from it would trigger this um, it would trigger this anxiety within me and this fear of like did I do something wrong the abandonment what should I do trying to make it better and it created a lot of unhealthy situations in my life for a lot of years so um, and that all came from my own my own life and my own on uh, like not knowing and so this is what guided me towards spiritual support and, and therapeutic work and stuff like that um and so now i'm feeling more whole and complete within myself so again we you might not even be aware these things are happening uh and i just feel like we're doing this major cleansing major purging um, major releasing in relationships and we're recreate, recreating a new dynamic, a new partnership and a new idea of, um, of, of partnership. So, so I'm going to bring it up again. Chip and Joanna Gaines from HGTV. They are, and again, they're human, so I'm not saying they're perfect, but they are, if I can give you an example, they are in a great alignment with the new partnerships. Um, and this doesn't have to be man, woman, but a masculine, feminine energy. Joanna has balance of her masculine and feminine. She's able to provide 
she's able to provide using her intuitive gifts and creating love and beauty in the world. And she, she does design. She, use, she uses her gift of vision to cr- design homes. And, and, and as you're watching it, you feel good. You feel the beautiful. You feel the comfort. You feel the warmth. That's her gift of feminine energy. And so there's this balance of masculine and feminine. Now, Chip, <laughs> Chip loves to destroy stuff. He goes in there with the hammers and the sledgehammers and he like karate chops and busts his leg through walls and he's very masculine, right? But he's also in balance with his feminine, with his nurturing. He loves his farm animals. He nurtures his children. He, 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 <coughs> he in the show, he takes them out and teaches them and does things with them and he 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 he's a good example for how to love the, for, for how to love their mama right he 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 really uses his nurturing and gift of his feminine energy to to teach to teach his kids how to love their mama how to cherish right and she also uses her gifts to teach her children how to um respect their dad um and so there's this dynamic that's going on of balance between masculine and feminine it's not my job is to make the money your job is to take care of the kids that's an old paradigm that's an old way of doing things and you can't do that for somebody you have to embody it within yourself and i think this is a lot of people right now single and in partnerships are learning to reconnect with the essence of your own masculine and feminine and feminine energies are learning how to provide to create wealth through the divine create wealth through god so for example my money comes from creator i have no doubt that creator and your loved ones and your souls and are guided to me for a reason. And there are many other people out in this world that people will be guided to you or you'll be guided to other people. Um, And I have no doubt that's orchestrated by the divine. So that is where my essence and my flow comes from. So I honor it, I respect it, I savor it. I grew up in that belief system that you have to work really hard and you you have to have this nine to five and this is the only way to make money and you have to depend on it. And now that's good for some people, but for a lot of the earth angels collective you struggle with that you struggle struggle with not being able to have this freedom because your own creativity is being stunted and we're here to be an example right now so we're clearing all these family issues we're healing all this stuff if you're single again you may have met the person but the timing might be off and it might not be right so surrender your relationship into um, the divine so Archangel Raguel and Archangel Raphael are the two angels that um, are really great with relationship harmony and help healing relationship conflict. So invite them in your life and then move out of the way. Get doing things that bring you joy and you'll be amazed how things unfold. Okay, so let me finish here. (laughs) I knew this was gonna be a long one. So let me finish with the activation. So I am, these are my activation cards. I'm gonna ask, Overall, there's this all this all this energy, and and again, I think this is like a perfect perfect reading for the end of this retrograde. Um, you know, we've already moved through half of the year, and I pray that this these aha moments carry you through the end of the year. And I just feel like come September, things are really going to shift. Things are really going to open up. People are going to come into alignment again. This is if you have been doing your own inner work. <clears throat> Uh, and, and guidance on yourself, checking in with God. Um, I think like that, that everything's just going to kind of unfold uh, come September. So, yeah. So that doesn't mean things can't happen in August, but I just think like the energy will be more at ease come September. And I and again, I, I follow astrologers, but I have no idea what's to come in the astrology. Astrology and tarot are just two things that my brain just can't process. So um, I don't know, they might, something might be coming for September. or I, I don't know what's going on, but that's my feeling. That's my gut instinct. So overall, all these messages, I'm going to tap into the divine and just ask like, what, what is being activated in you with all of this going through all of this what is being activated within you what's the most important thing you need to know that's being activated just so you can have that awareness of like what the point is oh my gosh are you kidding me i cannot even believe this so i hope you saw that this card flip out eight every time i except for i think one time every time i use this deck 
V8 comes out. And those of you who've been following me, you know, every time this comes out, I've been seeing eights everywhere. I've also been seeing orange cars everywhere. When I was down in, I was seeing the eights and orange cars before I went to Austin. And then I go down to Austin and I mentioned to my friend and we were laughing about how these eights would pop up into our life and how the orange cars, we would just pull out of the driveway. Here we are, la la, just going about our life, you know, just laughing and having a good time. We'd pull out of the driveway and as we would face forward, sure enough, an orange car would go by. We would pull out to the end of the street. We'd be sitting at the red light and sure enough, an orange car would go by. Car, SUV, an orange truck. Anyway, anyway, it's so, it's been so powerful. Um, (laughs) So eight is alchemy eight is an infinity number it's a vibration the universe is saying we're always with you it's a never-ending cycle of energy regenerating so the message says the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we hold inside again how many times have i talked about connecting with your own intuition uh it says each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracle of transmutation this is saying your power is within and you're clearing away those old belief systems that you have to go externally that people have to tell you what to do even in my work I do not tell people what to do I shine a light on what they already know and the profound part of it is I don't know you so you come in and I'm shining a light on the stuff that you already know and it's like gosh okay now I can trust my own guidance I can trust my own wisdom and sometimes it's nice to hear it externally of what you already know it's so powerful so when these eights come up um, know that it's creator speaking to you it's an abundance number it's a prosperity number and again the message is the gifts of manifesting the gifts of creating the health the money the career the love that you want comes from within I've been kind of playing around with the idea of doing like an online course with intuition. So if that's something that you think you'd be interesting, give me like a a thumbs up in the comments or give me like, you know, the emoji that's raising her hand. Like if you'd be interested in maybe doing something, maybe I could do like some videos and include like a Facebook Live or a Zoom conference or something because let me know if you're struggling with intuition and what that even means or how to even... um, do that so so let me just let me know like so just so i know where you guys are at um if that's something you'd be interested in because i could maybe come up with something for the fall um and create this and, and again maybe it will include signs maybe it'll include accessing your intuition meditations um again give me a thumbs up in the comments or give me like a, a heads up like or, or a hand up or something um in the comments if that's something you might be interested in so anyway i i mean boom that just sums up the whole thing alchemy your true power is within as an earth angel that is what you're here on this planet to do is to present your gifts your knowledge and wisdom god it needs to work through you so i pray that i'm a beacon of light that i'm a good example of what creator can do for you with you through you um through my own story through my gifts through what i share um and this is the gift of the unseen this is the feminine energy feminine energy has access to the unseen she has the gift of being able to see the unseen and that's the that's the power behind it and so i feel like this is what the universe is saying like even with masculine energy i'm definitely not leaving you out because you have an incredible ability to problem solve and stabilize i i'm currently in this (laughs) in this single zone and i had i know i have to get in touch with my own feminine essence and i'm so excited and i can't wait to learn from the masculine because i haven't really had a masculine energy in my life so i'm I'm kind of missing that piece in a way of learning how to access the divine and being in that space so i'm excited for what god is going to send in i'm excited to be able to play with this masculine and feminine energy through partnership or through my own healing and learning and through my own clients and through my own interactions with masculine energy in the world so 
it's powerful um, and and again the universe is saying you are the creator of your own destiny and I feel like these are a lot of ways things that being cleared, cleared out and, and some guidance and direction in how to get there all right friends so <laughs> I'm gonna close space by thanking all your guardian angels and guides the archangels the ascended masters God source creator of the universe and all his holy beings of light who assisted with this guidance for you today and I'm gonna ask that any healing that was started continue for as long as it needs to be done in mind body spirit and emotions in all ways all right so if you haven't heard it today or nobody's told you in a while I love you God loves you. Trust in the divine. Trust your intuition. And I send you love with heavenly hugs. Bye for now.